Apparently, other NFL teams think that the Chicago Bears will trade down from that number nine overall pick. So let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking. It's Ben here to talk about the Chicago Bears and here to talk about uh, other teams potentially thinking that the Bears could trade down from the number nine spot. So this is coming from Field Gates, reporter for ESPN. And he basically talked about uh, how he reached out to teams and asked them who they think are the most intriguing uh, kind of opponents in the top 10 for them. And here's what he said. What NFL teams think other NFL teams will do in the draft should not be interpreted as gospel. But when I asked team personnel about intriguing opponents picking in the top 10, two that come up often are the Chicago Bears and New York Jets. Why the potential of a trade down? Chicago has just four picks right now, fewest in the NFL, while the Jets lack a second round pick and have a plan now at both offensive tackle spots following an active offseason. Given the number of teams that will be angling hard for offensive tackles early, could either of these teams be incentivized to move down? Okay, so interesting comments here from Field Yates, and I got to tell you, I'm a little surprised by this. One, I do believe that it's realistic to think that the Bears could trade down because they only have four picks, like Field said. But I think it would only happen under certain scenarios. So this would be one of those scenarios where it will literally come down to draft day and Ryan Poles seeing how the board shakes out and then him basically saying, okay, my must-have guys are gone, I'm trading down. We don't know who those guys are, right? Could be the receivers, Adunze, Malik Neighbors, could be the pass rushers, Jared Verse, Dallas Turner, could be a tackle, Joe Holt. Like, it could be any of those guys. And if he's waiting for one of them to drop to nine and they don't, then he's going to be more open to trade down. For example, if the two guys that he was targeting that he wanted for sure were Malik Neighbors and, I don't know, Dallas Turner, and they're both gone by the time, you know, number nine is up, He's going to say, look, the guys I really wanted, they're not there. So I'm comfortable trading down and waiting because the rest of these guys, I kind of group them in the same kind of range. Okay, that could happen. Otherwise, I think he's staying at number nine because I think he's very confident that one of those options falls. And the reason why is because I believe four quarterbacks will go in the uh, in the first eight picks. And you're definitely going to have a tackle go, probably Joe Alt. That's five. You're going to have a receiver go, Marvin Harrison Jr. That's six. And then you're probably going to have a pass rusher go. That's seven. So it's like you will have kind of your pick of a receiver, a pass rusher. Like it's very possible that that could happen. Um, so uh, uh, that that's kind of why I'm a little surprised by these comments. But, hey, NFL teams definitely – know how Ryan Poles is in the sense of he loves to accumulate more draft picks. And I've actually said this myself, that Ryan Poles is not coming out of this draft without more than four picks, uh, but he could always trade later. It doesn't have to be a nine. Think about it. You're getting two blue chippers at the first and number nine spot. So two top 10 picks. You get two blue chipper guys. Worry about accumulating more draft picks later, not in the top 10. And Ryan Poles also made comments in regards to saying that he's comfortable where he's at right now. I know it's boring not to make trades, but he likes where the Bears are at. So that tells me my gut feeling right now, if you ask me right now, my gut feeling is he stays at nine because one of those guys lands to him that he really wants. That's my gut feeling. Could be wrong, but that's where I'm at. So do I think the Bears trade down? I don't. Definitely could still happen, but my gut feeling is that it doesn't happen. I think they trade down later. That, that's what, uh, where I think the trade down actually happened. So let me know what you guys think. Will the Bears trade down for the number nine spot? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always.